students let us start with the new chapter which is known as binomial distribution and here in this module we are going to learn some concepts on binomial distribution so let us start with the first concept that is the word here we have is trial so what is this trial actually it is nothing but repetition of an experiment moving further i have bernoulli's trial so bernoulli's trial is defined as follows in the theory of probability and statistic a bernoulli trial is a random experiment with exactly two possible outcomes success and failure these are the two outcomes of that experiment in which the probability of success is same every time the experiment is conducted so let us move further and try to understand the next term here i have binomial distribution so here binomial distribution will be defined as follows if a discrete random variable x follows binomial distribution with parameters n and p so we can denote it in the symbols written in blue there x follows binomial distribution for n number of trials with probability of success as p so here this is how we read it for n number of trials with probability of success as p now moving further here n n is nothing but number of trials p it is probability of success and q it is probability of failure so these are the terms involved in the above expression now we should understand that sum of the entire probability of an event is always 1 so here i have two outcomes that is success and failure so the sum of their probabilities that is p plus q will always be 1 so here this value should always be 1 now moving further i have probability of x successes in n bernoulli trial so i can denote it as p of capital x equal to x it is given by the formula ncx p raised to x q raised to n minus x this is the only formula which we are going to apply throughout this topic so p of x equal to x can also be written as nx p raised to x q raised to n minus x now what we should understand here is the symbol nx inside the bracket it is not a matrix it is just the representation of ncx which is given by the formula n factorial upon x factorial into n minus x factorial and this term ncx it is called as binomial coefficient now moving further again the terms involved here n it is number of trials p it is probability of success q it is probability of failure and the relation will remain same p plus q will be equal to 1 now moving further here the number of trials n is sometimes called as degree of binomial distribution so we can call n as degree of binomial distribution as well now moving further to the next part here if we have a certain condition given to us p is equal to q that is probability of success is equal to probability of failure so here the values of p and q will obviously be half moving further p of x equal to x substituting the values of p and q in the given formula as half so i will have ncx half raised to x into half raised to n minus x on further simplification the formula turns out to be ncx half raised to n now we can use this formula only when p is equal to q else this formula will not be applicable now moving further mean and variance of binomial distribution here moving further with the definition or the formula for mean mean is nothing but expected number of success in n trials it is given by the formula n into p where p is probability of success moving further the next formula which we have is for variance of x it is sigma square x it is given by n into p into q and the last formula which we have here is standard deviation of x that is positive square root of variance so this formula will be sdx equal to sigma equal to root of n p q so these are the list of formulas and concepts which are required for this entire chapter in the next module we will be studying some problems based on this thank you